Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy I'm you already know. Right now we're gonna continue our let's play of Variety Out of Stories. Welcome to episode 29. Potentially the last episode of this playthrough of the human side. The human branch, the human path, whatever you want to call it. This is the final episode of this here uh, uh, playthrough. And we're going to fight whoever is at the top of this castle. Whomever it is, we're gonna fight that. Okay, that, that person, that character, whoever. Let's do it. Uh, I'm actually equipped with the Falvern. Not like uh, it's a very good weapon for me to use right now, but I mean, let's let's do it. And you'll notice this is this is the Labyrinth of Fortune, the music that I was talking about earlier in the in the, in the, in the game story when we first heard it while Kane was talking to us in the uh, Stone of Miracles side quest, uh, that mission that we did. We first heard it there, then we heard it again when Lucian uh, when Lucian spoke. Uh, was it was that the next time we heard it or was it when right before the war between the the fairy creatures and the humans on this playthrough uh yeah it, it played again then and now we hear it as the uh, final dungeons music so without further ado i present to you the ending of this game the ending of the human path so let's not run into the wall and go through the door please <laughs> Jack, you made it. Well done. Huh? Lord Lucian? What? what are you doing here? Actually, I am here for the same reason as you. Huh? You mean... Yes, I have come to help Ridley. Really? That's great! But have you seen Cross or the Silver Dragon? No, neither of them. Really? That's strange. But listen to me. According to my investigation, Ridley's consciousness has been overtaken by the elf within her. I knew it! Do not despair, Jack. It is not too late to save her. Really? We can still help? Yes, she isn't lost to us yet. But we must have your strength if we are to help her. Just tell me what I have to do! I'll do anything you say! Thank you, Jack. We don't have a moment to spare. We have to hurry. Okay, let's go! Absolutely. Let's. So, Ridley is uh, kind of like an idiot in this game. She believes that the humanity is stupid and they must pay. Uh, so that's why she's over here, like, siding with the non-humans. But honestly, upon playing this game again, I've started to realize maybe she's not an idiot. Maybe it's that the uh, elf consciousness within her uh, as Lucian said, overtook her, and uh, like I always thought that to be false because obviously Lucian's lying to the, to your boy Jack. He's just fucking pulling the wool over his eyes. So I'm like, maybe Ridley really was overtaken by by Hap. I always thought that in the back of my mind, I never believed it though for some reason. And and as further uh, speculation, I thought that maybe while she was overtaken, she convinced herself to believe. That Hap's thoughts were reality. That's why she said those things to Jack about humans being like whatever and how they had to restore the balance. Why else would she choose to side against the human beings? She says that it's part of her destiny, but only the people that have any association with the fairy creatures say that they have a destiny of so and so and such and such. No one else in the game besides Ridley and Gawain has spoken of destiny, and only the non humans speak of that shit. And I, I've, that's always made me mad, because I'm like, I don't want human beings to die for some stupid reason. Like, look, look at these, look at this wonderful architecture. Look, look at, look at this. Who, who is that? What is that? You know, like, it's, it's a being of great and immeasurable power. You can tell, man, like, it's such, look at this fantastic artwork. It just sends chills down my spines every time. Maybe they were like what the four dragons or, or the ultimate dragons were at one point. Maybe they were humans uh, at one point. If they had like anthropomorphic bodies, maybe there were more. Maybe these are like old guardians that just... Uh, there's maybe the appearance of the elder guardians before like Parsec and them guys showed up. Uh, Parsec, Bade, you know, those guys. Uh, it's Seyfied. And I'm not gonna spoil the name of the fourth dragon or the gold dragon, even though we'll learn in a second.
So let's see what goes on. Ridley! What is this? Jack, you have to take Ridley away from the gold dragon. Reach deep into your heart. Call out to Ridley and set her free. <gasps> Call out to her? That face, I love it. That affirmative nod. Ridley! It's me, Jack! Jack. Ridley! Look, it's me! Jack. Jack! Jack! Uh, Cross! Don't let him fool you! Fool me? Who? This traitor! Lucian! My whole brigade! The Noir Mouton is wiped out! Wiped out by Lucian! The Silver Dragon! The dragon? Dear Rotary, you talk far too much, little man. <laughs> Cross! You killed him. Jack, I am most grateful for your help. Thank you so much. No! Please, no! No! It is all finished. At last. As the Silver Dragon, I was powerless. Powerless to act against Ridley while she was the vessel. But you gave me the opportunity to strike. I owe it all to you, my friend. You should rejoice, Jack. The gold dragon Quasar is dead. Humanity is free of the menace. Humanity has won. We have built a new cosmic order. <laughs> Humans, you shall live. You shall live until the end of the world itself! You'll pay for this? Why do you grow angry with me? I have given humanity exactly what it deserves. Why did you kill Ridley? The girl received the transpiritation. She chose to serve as the vessel for the gold dragon. She became the enemy of all humanity. You murderer! Ridley was... Ridley was human too! Dragon! You will pay for this! You must not care much for your life if you're drawing your sword against me. <laughs> but, if that was what you want, you will taste the power of the Silver Dragon! Then, you and your anger and despairing regret can burst together in hell! Oh, man! 
Oh, I'm fucking hype! Oh, I got to see the end of this let's play right here. Well, the end of this particular uh, playthrough, anyway. Hell yeah. Time to uh, look at a feeling on stats. 18,000. Yeah, this move is beast. He'll fucking kill y'all. Like, he does massive damage. No, no. Oh, man, this guy's awesome, though. He does massive damage. Like, you can hurt quite a lot. But that was amazing, right? The one thing I don't like about Jack is that he's... Instead of uh, making it so that the world is now uh, safe from... <coughs> excuse me. Safe from the control of the uh, dragons. He gets angry because he kills Ridley. I'm like, it was a necessary evil, my friend. Oh, gosh. And I'm cursed. Fuck. I cannot attack. I've been cursed. I've been cursed. I've been cursed. Could I still? Okay. Uh, hold on. We got a. Uh, uh, we have a rival stone just in case. Uh, this yeah, this song is fucking awesome. I love it. Let's uh, use one of the cousin stones. What's wrong? I got you, dude. Dude. Oh, I don't have my Volti with this guy yet. Oh fuck. I need to change then. If that's the case. I'll put the rock axe on. BAM! Hell fucking yes, dude. Here goes. Oh, this is so amazing. I love this song. And I love this game. And I love this fight. Everything about this is just epic as shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta use a moonstone. Or, no, revival stone. Fucking crazy. You're welcome, Elwood. Thank you. You're not like this fucking... These fucking pieces of shit. They're like... Oh, no, don't help me. I don't need your help. Yeah, that breaks your shield, bro. You're better off shielding it than... uh, Or backstab, backstabbing it. Instead of like suffering like the full damage. Which these fucking units are about to do in a second here. Oh, I don't like that move. That move is beast. Fuck, I tried to backstep it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Alright, alright. So, um, yeah, as I was saying, Ridley is just... Is, is the dumb one, I think. In my opinion, she's the, the, the idiot of the, uh, of the game. Because, like, she chose the wrong side. And, and Jack is getting pissed off for the wrong reason. Oh shit, look at it. I love how the background changes. We're fighting on top of the uh, the, the castle. Alright, I need L1 to uh, use your Volti. Alright, let me uh, let me use a Moonstone chip. No, that's not the right one. Sorry, Moonstone would be the right one. Yes, good shit, L1. I love it! Love it, baby. I love it. This is so fantastic. Ooh. Hell yeah. Uh, I want to see if maybe we should finish it off uh, using... Okay, 3,000 left. Uh, you know what? No. Let's use it. Why not? Gerald, I need you to like, use your goal too. Move it now! Good shit. Good shit, Gerald. I love the way this looks. It's not gonna do as much as L1's, but it's gonna do a lot of damage. It's gonna do like maybe 16, 1700. I'm pretty sure, anyway. No, 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 sorry. It does 1200. My bad. Never fucking mind. That's 900 damage. Alright, alright. Why this? Get out of there, please. Oh, Jesus Christ. Is that all you got? Oh, Elwood, even Elwood's dying. Good shit, we, we did it. Fidus, did you really just kill him? Fidus, amazing. Well, this is the end of the game, guys. We've done it. Now we sit back and watch the ending. Oh, job well done, fellas. Job well done. slain.
by a human. <sighs> Jack, humans are creatures bound by their fate. By their deeds do they live and die. If it was your fate that you slay me, then perhaps it was my fate that I die at your hand. I don't believe in fate. It was my purpose. It was my mission to beat you. That's all. You say, your mission? Ridley accepted that it was her fate to restore order to the world. But you, you killed her for the sake of humanity. And I wouldn't forgive you for that. That's when I realized what my mission was. I knew that I had to destroy you. <laughs> I see, Jack. So in the end, I am a victim of my own mission. Uh, what's happening? The Gold Dragon Castle is finished. I have to leave you now. <laughs> Fare thee well, Jack. Fare thee well, my humans. I have saved you all, my frail, frail children. Jeez, I fucking love Lucius's last lines. All his lines in this last hour of play are just fantastic. They're my favorite, among my favorite in the game. Perhaps, yeah, my favorite. But here comes the end of the Gold Castle era. It crumbles and it's never to be seen again. But uh, it's just one of those things that I'm really sad about because I wish Jack would be more understanding. He just saved the human race and destroyed the cosmic order. The gold, the, the gold dragon was a villain in my eyes. The silver dragon, Aphelion, is a hero. He just saved the entire human race from extinction. Everyone else gets reborn, minus the humans. What the fuck is up with that shit? It doesn't make any sense to me. And for what reason? Just because they don't want to accept change? That. They don't. They wanted to, to reset back to the way it was. Well, why don't why don't humans get the the right to life like everyone else? What kind of bullshit is that? That's so biased, and I'm not for that. If we're all for, about to have equality, then I'd rather just have everyone dead and have the uh, the strongest man living. To, you know, it's survival of the fittest, essentially, is what it is. And that's the that's the power of human beings, and that's why I love this ending, because it's like we're not gonna take shit from anyone. We're, gonna, we're not going to accept and lie down meekly that that we're all supposed to die and some faggots who rule over us are supposed to be the ones to kill us. For what reason? It's not even properly explained. Like, yeah, bull fucking shit, I'm not having that. Anyway, so here comes the ending. Jack uh, leaves, leaves Radiata, essentially. And the person that you went on a date with in the fireworks festival... Uh, stands in front of, uh, you know, the the castle, not the castle, but the city, Lupus Gate, and watches Jack as he leaves. But uh, yeah, there you go, guys. That was Rider of Stories. That was the Human Branch. It's not the end of the game, just yet. There's one more scene that plays at the end of this, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I know I definitely enjoyed it. It was, I love playing this game, it's so fantastic. And I especially love it when I have every single human in my friend list, like, on my roster. So, I was thinking, I'm not sure, if I should have uh, the, if I should do like the post-game dungeon. The thing is, I'd rather do the post-game dungeon with the human people instead of the non-humans. That kind of is what makes me mad, it's like, I really want to do it with uh, the human side, which is why I want to do this this playthrough last. But uh, who knows? We'll, we'll see what it, we'll see what we do. Yeah, uh, it's really really cool. See that thing on the left there? That fucking thing that's running around. So that is the meter that lets you know just how far along the uh, ending credits is gonna take. So it was at the start of the page, right at the top. And I was going progressively downwards. When I get to the end there, that's when we'll know that the credits is going to be finished. Excellent game. Just fantastic. I applaud all of these people. Everyone in here. Every single person credited in this game. 
I give them my undying gratitude. Uh, and I just wish that I could see another game of this. Of this caliber. An another game by the same people. It's just a Trias title called Roddy Out of Stories 2. Anything like that would be nice. To know what happened after all of this, the follow-up. Maybe, maybe what was really canon? Because as we've seen in the in the manga, the canon story seems to be that Jack goes to the castle instead of following Ridley. But it's not entirely canon because it is one artist's interpretation of what happens. Not everything in the manga should be taken as canon. It's just how one person perceived it. So there's that. But uh, yeah. I actually do believe that uh, Ridley kissed Jack at the scene where they were in Jack's room, you know, with the, her farewell speech to him. Uh, the reason I think the camera cuts off is because they try to show, I mean, they try to signify that, that she kissed him goodbye or something. It's a pretty romantic scene. Thank you guys for watching, I, I really appreciate the, the support that this series has, has gotten, you know. It hasn't gotten that much, but like those few uh, followers that watch it, thank you guys for sticking through with it. Uh, I appreciate it. I put a lot of time, this, a lot of time and effort into doing all of this shit. So I appreciate just even one person watching. And if that person enjoyed it, then all the better, man. I mean, that makes me happy. So let me know what you think about the game in the comments. You know, ask me questions, Q and A. You know. Ask me whatever you want to know. Anything that seems confusing to you, if it's within my realm of knowledge, I will answer it. So, ask away. And this song is awesome. It's like a really... It's a, it's a strange... I think they should have had different songs for different endings. Like, this should have been the ending to the non-human uh, path. And the human path should have had a different ending. A song, I think. That's just what I think. There you go, developed by Triace, published by Square Enix. Big thanks to everyone who helped create this game and to all the players. Absolutely. Beautiful. Hey, is that Bellflower walking around town? Fascinating. Who is that character? The one walking towards us right now with the orange. Who is she? I don't remember her. So, fellas, that was the extra scene. I love it, but it's so sad, if you think about it. Jack, who was look, looked forward to meeting up with Ridley this entire time, uh, was always worried about her, dies in his arms, and then has nothing left forward to look, you know, nothing left, nothing left to look forward to. Uh, and that's it. He's, he's got, everything's taken away from him, minus his you know, sister, but... Uh, I don't know what's up with his mom. I don't think they ever describe it, but I think that mom's dead. His father's dead. Uh, I, actually, I think they did talk about his mom dying. Yeah, both the parents are dead. He only has his sister. His captain, uh, Gans, is nowhere to be seen. He's went his own way, too, which is the footsteps he's following. Uh, fucking Ridley's dead. Uh, the, one of his role models he looked up to, uh, General Dynas, is dead. He left all the people at Theater Van Cour, all his family members, everything. He left all his friends and family, left everyone, and goes on his own journey to who knows what. They, ne they never say what, the what he does. They never do say, but he's left it. He left home and everything. It's really sad. And he even has his father's sword, the Arbitrator, with him, which he never gets to use in this playthrough. It's rather, it's rather very depressing. Uh... Which is like one of the things that I love about this ending. It's a very depressive ending. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this playthrough. I'm glad if you did. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment sections. Uh, so that was, that was the human path. 
And then the next time we start recording, which I don't know when that'll be, maybe next week, I'll start by doing the non-human path, or I might do the post-game stuff. We'll have to see. The non-human path, it, it'll be the exact same story. Uh, so, the thing is, guys, um, I'm not sure how I'm going to handle this, because... Ah, uh, shit. Because, okay... I may have to start, in the non-human path, I may have to start by uh, cutting a huge portion of the beginning game. You know, the first three missions at Radiata, I'll cut them out, or whatever the fuck mission number it is. On, all the way until the point where you can start adding friends, like when you first get Clive, that is the time when I'm going to start the non-human path. Because there's no sense in showing off the beginning of the game again. And uh, I think... After you get your friend list is when you start recruiting the non-humans. And now that we know that the dwarf village ends up being exterminated by human beings, by cross, actually, by cross, not human beings, by the, the hands of cross. Now that we know that cross destroys practically all of Earth Valley, as well as bade the, the, the guardian Earth Dragon, we know that we had to recruit those motherfuckers as soon as possible. So that shit's very important for a non-human path because that happens before a split. Everything after the split is all a different story. Everything before the split is the same. So we need to recruit everyone at Earth Valley right before the niggas perish. So uh, that's one important thing to know. But I'll let you know what I what I decide. I mean, actually, if you guys want to take a vote in the comments, go ahead and do that. Whether you want to see the non-human path first or you want to see the post-game content, they're both very epic stuff. I, I personally am looking forward very much so to the, to the post-game content. I just don't know when to put it, whether to do it now or whether to do it later. So I'll let you guys have a say in it. Like, I'll take your votes into consideration as to what I'm going to do. So if you feel like you want to see something first, let me know in the comment section below. And I will see you in the next episode of Radio Other Stories. Thank you for watching, my friends. Uh... Have a good 4th of July, still 4th of July, and I'll check y'all later. Peace out, and keep it styling, yo.